Hello and what the heck is up my Atlanteans? Okay y'all, so today we're not doing a doll video, but like I still think that like it kind of counts. Like I still think it's gonna fit into the channel because it is Monster High related and obviously all of you already know what I'm talking about. But let me, let me get into this first. I effing love Polly Pockets and it's one thing like, because when I was a kid, the most popular Polly Pockets were the, like, mini dolls with, like, the rubber clothes or, or like, the the tiny bits of hair and, like, the magnetic hair. You know, like, that, that was my Polly Pocket. But my favorite version of Polly Pockets are the original Bluebird Polly Pockets. I think it's, like, something about the compact idea, like, a whole playset, because as a kid, I was never allowed to have those playsets, so, like, maybe it, it, it gives me some sort of satisfaction that I can have so many playsets in such little space, you know? And recently, with Mattel coming out with Polly Pockets again, and that the main version of the line being the little compact version, I've obviously been obsessed. I do actually have a whole collection of... Polly Pocket Compacts since I think they came out in 2019 or something. And recently, Poly okay, Polly Pockets are already amazing to me. And then mix in Monster High. Like this was genius. This was genius. I don't think it's gonna be po really popular with the Monster High uh, community, the doll community, because obviously it's not dolls, but it's like, this is like prime Monster High merchandise, like Monster High Polly Pocket set. People would like fan make those, and here we are with like an official one. Um, granted, it is a G3 version, so it's probably like the most like colorful ver version you'll ever get. But still, this is amazing, and I'm so excited to open this. So this one I was able to order on Amazon. Um, it was $29, but I think right now it's $20. I don't know. There's, like, some kind of sale that's going on, and I missed out on it. But, you know what? This, like, as soon as this became available on Amazon Canada, I snatched it up right away. Let's get right into this. So, obviously, it's a Monster High version of a Polly Pocket compact. Um, it's the pretty much the basic Polly Pocket, um, packaging. Usually it's on a blister and you kind of have everything kind of splayed out. I really appreciate that they have the face out face of the skullette on the front. The fact that this that the whole set is in the shape of skullette. And of course you can see like all of the little accessories, the little play set. And we have the beautiful G3 um, art by Darko Dark. And then on the back, we have a better um, idea of what the compact actually looks like when everything's all put together, when everything's together. I'm so excited. This is gonna like go straight in my purse and it's gonna like live there. Here you have like your piece count. You can see some of the activities that you can do. There's just like so much you can do with these uh, compact sets. Um, Polly Pocket, at the beginning, when they started redoing the compacts, um, it wasn't the strongest thing. Like, it was it, it was fun. And it, it was enough to, like, get me excited, but the actual playability in the compact wasn't that great. I think it's because it was, like, the sticky versions of the Polly Pockets, and, like, you could only put... The, I don't know. I don't know. But recently, I have been noticing that the sets have been doing a lot better. Like, they feel a lot more like the original Polly Pocket sets. Yeah, so I'm really excited. This is, like, pretty much the whole school. There's a dormitory there, too. So, I feel like this is gonna be a win. I I really hope so. Anyway, we're, let's go ahead and open this up and take a closer look at everything this comes with, okay? Okay, so this is what the set looks like when everything is out of the packaging. I think that even though the piece count isn't like very crazy it's just so perfect for this set and looking at the set and like playing around with it like kind of just like figuring out where everything is is so cute like you guys are gonna freaking love this because i was like i'm obsessed with this because this is so cute and i think the mon the fact that monster high collab with the poly pocket that is so cool of course you can't have a monster high playset without some of the ghouls so we do have f the main three 
We have Claudine, Draculaura, and Frankie. Draculaura is wearing this little pink shirt with like little hearts and a little bow on it. And Claudine is wearing what looks like her, um, is it Day Out <laughs> doll? She has like the little like leopard top with the little shorter like black top and like her, she's even wearing the crescent uh, necklace. Frankie is wearing her their classic sweater vest and what i love about frankie is that their prosthetic is actually painted in and i don't think we see this for Polly pocket like at all like if you look at the newer compacts all of their bottoms are kind of like straight colors kind of just like this but i love that frankie's prosthetic is still part of it and also what's really cool is that these are new hair molds for Polly pocket as well so if you guys are like collectors at all this is a good chance to get some new hair pieces i guess but yeah really well painted i wish frankie had some stitches on them but otherwise super cool and like really excited about it there are a couple of bigger accessories for example we have this um, pink couch. If you're wondering, yes, it's made out of brains. <laughs> and they are actually able to sit on it. Let me show you guys. So Draculaura is able to sit on the little chair. And like, they do actually stay really well. Next, we have this little casketball hoop. I don't like the fact that it's like, literally just like one color. But you know what? The little details are really cute. I love that the net is like spider web, if you could see that. But otherwise, it's like a pretty basic uh, casketball net, what you think it looks like. And then all, we have all of these like tiny little accessories. So we have this little skateboard. Um, For some reason, my Claudine has a really loose um, holes at the bottom of her feet. So she doesn't like fit in that great oh just kidding she fits on quite well <laughs> next we have this little game boy or like we could maybe call it like a switch too the reason why it like looks so weird is because they needed a way for the dolls to like hold it but yeah it holds on quite nice on the back there's like a little star and then there are actual molded on details you could probably see that yeah. Then we have the tiny cask ball. It is orange and like it's basically like a basketball and it has a little hole at the bottom as well so you won't lose it on the court. Here's a little tray of food. I wish the food was like painted in as well but with Mattel that may be too much to ask for. And we have this little white book. It's fully white and all of the accessories have those little holes at the bottom. And there isn't any writing, but there is like molded on writing and like pictures. So I, I'll take that, I'll take that. And then there are two pink like coffee drinks, I guess. It, there are There is like a little coffin bean area on this, in the set, so that makes sense. Totally forgot to mention, but it does also come with a little, like, classroom desk and chair set. Like, it's kind of put together, which makes sense, because, like, it would only need to use one hole. But yeah, there is, like, really cute, like, molded on details. There's a little spider web on the chair. Oh, actually, there's a lot of details on the actual desk. Wow. This is basically what the bottom of the compact looks like. So this is all in the pink part of the Skelet compact. So as you can see, this is pretty much like the hangout lounge area. So here we have a little skate park. I even put the little skateboard right at the top there. I love the spiderweb details on the actual 
ramp here. I love the little like cobblestone detail on the sides both here. And then on the concrete part there is a painted skelet with like little graphics and stuff which is really cute. And this is the main student lounge set I like to think. So we have these, we have like beautiful filigree on the actual floor which is so pretty and connected to the floor we have these little steps going down into the, we'll call it the quad. <laughs> Draculaura is sitting on the brain couch and I have her little coffin drink on the floor there since there's a peg there. There's also a little chair already molded into the plastic so that's really cool. I just like love the little filigree like actually it's so nice and it's so well sculpted. So nice. We are in the coffin bean area. Here we have Frankie sitting having their drink I guess most likely little table rotates and it there is a spider web detail on the top as well. I really like the chairs. I don't know if you can like even really see that, but the chairs actually do have um like gravestone detail on the back part of it. So like on the back there there is like a little gravestone. Isn't that so cute? Like so well thought out, so spooky. I love that. And while we're here, let me give you a closer look at the coffin being here as well. So you, so you can see this part is actually on a hinge and it's exactly like the coffin being set. So you have the little awning on the top with the little sign and then we have the little menu down there. On one side, you can see that we have a little tray and then on this side, I put the food there. But there is actually already molded on food there. And then if you look at the bottom, behind the counter, there are some like coffins with skelet on them. When you're done your coffee, you'd probably want to go play basketball or something. So here's the basketball area. Really, really nice and really detailed. I love the like mess on the quad. Like that's very much like high school, you know? Here I have Claudine just walking onto the court with her Zappuccino, we'll say. And I even put the little basketball net right there. And here is a better idea of what the purple part of Skelet looks like. So this is pretty much like the actual school area. And arguably probably the most detailed part of the whole set. Which I'm not even mad about. Monster High is about the high school. So, so starting from the bottom we do have this like little vanity area. We could see that there's like a little mirror there with like scratch marks. That's super spooky. Here is the entrance to the school. There's even a little staircase here with some brick detail. Here we have a little locker room area with some spooky stairs that goes up to the laboratory. There are some really fun things here. So first of all, when you open up the entrance and the vanity area, we actually get the ghouls' dorms. Each ghoul does have their own little area to sleep in, so Frankie's bed is up here, which is blue, and there is actual detailing on the bed. Um, not too much on the, um, actual blankets, but the pillows. Frankie has a little lightning bolt, and Claudine has a little paw print on hers. And I love especially that Draculaura has a little peg on the ceiling of the dorm. So she can sleep upside down, which is great. And then going into the locker area, the lockers actually open up and you could get a closer look at all of the little details inside of the locker, which is really fun. And if you wanted to from the little locker area, you can walk up the stairs into class here. And you can see that we have this little bookcase that has like all of these like painted in like details, spider webs. There's painted in books, there's like potions and stuff. This is the little lab, so it is like a little Frankenstein-esque. I love the little Watsy there. Um, oh yeah, and then there is Crescent. Just can't seem to remember where Count Fabulous is. Up in the laboratory, we also have a little classroom area. So here we have Frankie actually sitting at a desk. 
and there's all these molded on plastic details in teal that's kind of going around it. And you must be wondering, why is this so 3D? So if we put one of our dolls here, do a little bit of this, and then you open the dorm, like it actually opens a trap door into the dorm. And Dracula is sleeping in her bed. And they like always pretty much like land in the correct spot. So that was really, well executed on their part. Also, I love that it's pretty reminiscent of the new Monster High playset that we're getting, where this is also the, it's kind of the same situation. Like, it, we have a little trap door gimmick. So that's pretty much the inside of the set. This is what the outside looks like. Here is Skelet. So obviously, it's in the shape of a skull, and all of the little details are actually embossed. I love this little bow. So it's in a clear plastic and on the inside is crescent shaped confetti so you can like actually like move it around like that's so fun and on the inside of the bow is like little spider web details so i think that's so pretty but yeah and skelet is glittery the purple part and then on the back it is pink and then it says monster high poly pocket 2023 Mattel, made in China, blah, blah, blah. It's just so, so, like, nice. It's so spooky. It's so gothy. Like, I'm, I'm just, like, so happy about this. Oh, and it does come with a little loopy here. So if you wanted to attach it to, like, your backpack, if you're brave enough, it does just attach kind of just like that. Yeah, overall, I'm really ecstatic about this whole playset. Like, kind of, like, is really satisfying as a monster high collector a poly pocket collector and like someone who really enjoys like spooky imagery like it just really makes me happy that mattel was like really willing to do this i really hope that they're gonna do i really hope that they wanted that i really hope that they're gonna try and do more of this I just think that there's like so many opportunities i would love to have like a whole playset dedicated to like frankie we could do like Frankie's house, Dracula's house, stuff like that. Like, that'd be so much fun. Colors are really nice. Like, the chosen colors are really pretty. It reflects the show and the vibe really well. The little painted details and the little molded on details are also very much appreciated. Um, I think that they were, like, fully... This is the only time we're gonna do this, so we're get, we have to make it, like, really good. And I will be taking it around with me, like like actually everywhere. That is pretty much everything for this video. I just really want to show you guys my thoughts on this playset because I love it. Because I knew I was gonna love it and I want to be excited with you guys. Let me know what you guys think about this. What do you guys do you guys collect Polly Pocket as well? Do you guys want to see some Polly Pocket content? Because I can do that. I do have a collection. So maybe I'll do a collection video soon. We'll see. But otherwise, yeah, that is everything for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Hit me up in the links in my description, and I'll see y'all on the flip side. Bye-bye.